In this video, I'll walk you through our validation control workflow. The goal with this particular workflow is to run an assembly using Seekman Engine to verify that you are getting the SNPs that you know are there. Here, you are validating your entire process, including sample prep, sequencing, and software, to ultimately generate a SNP validation report. The first step is to start a project in our Seekman Engine application. Seekman Engine is our application for next-gen sequence assembly. Remember, as we walk through this process, that you can select the Help icon on any screen for more information. But first, I'll select the Create New Assembly Project, and then select the Mendelian Germline Gene Panel Assembly Project in the Project Type screen. Now for this particular workflow, we are using a control, which we'll talk about more later in the wizard. So we'll select the Template Assemblies with Control option. Next, we'll choose to name our project and designate our file save locations. In this screen, we'll go ahead and import our reference file. Here I'm going to use a human genome template package, which you can download from the DNA Star website. I'll also check the Include Alternative Assembly Templates box, as this will include alternate sequence representation for variant regions. Alternate sequences include those known to be in a particular chromosome, but whose exact position is unknown and sequences with known positions but otherwise incomplete entries. The last action we want to take on this particular screen is checking the targeted regions file box and uploading our better manifest file. This bed file, or manifest file if working with Illumina data, details your targeted regions of interest. For this validation control workflow, I'll use an intersected bed file, which was constructed using both the genome in a bottle high quality region bed file and our specific target region bed file. Next, we want to go ahead and select our read technology. I'll be using Illumina data for this particular example. And I've imported two different sequence files. I've gone ahead and designated my insert size and then named my experiments. In the next screen, I want to choose to set up my experiments as a control. Now we'll make sure to check the box next to our control experiment and double click to open up the drop down menu and select validation as the type of control. Next, I'll want to set my VCF file. The VCF file contains our high confidence variant calls, and for our validation control, we will be using the Genome in a Bottle NA12878 high confidence VCF file. I want to check that this VCF file is for a validation control experiment. Next, our assembly options page allows you to adjust any parameters desired. The default parameters are generally fine for most assembly work. And finally, you can choose to click assemble to begin to run your assembly. When your assembly is complete, you can choose to directly launch your project in ArrayStar. ArrayStar will automatically group your experiments and generate a validation control report, which we're looking at here. In this report, you can analyze a variety of statistics, ultimately looking at the sensitivity, specificity, and overall balanced accuracy of your project. To learn more about validation controls or other gene panel workflows, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.